Our other top story tonight, more gun violence in Tampa. This time an innocent person is shot at a bowling alley. The business spent the day cleaning up as police tried to arrest the people involved. In all, three people were shot. Officers arrested one man, but need your help to track down the others. This all happened around midnight on Sunday at Pin Chaser's Midtown location on Armenia Avenue. That's where 10 Tampa Bay's Hannah Deneen is tonight. Hannah, Tampa police officers, they are as determined as ever to get these guns and criminals off the streets. Mm, Carolina, certainly. It was this time last night when right here in this parking lot, two groups of people fell into a confrontation which ended in a shooting. Now as police continue to search for those involved, the owner of this bowling alley tells me it's adding extra precautions to keep everyone safe. I can count on my hand how many times we've closed. We're generally open. 365 days a year. The doors of Pin Chasers Midtown closed and boarded up after shots fired through them late Sunday night. Apparently, uh, two of them ran into the building to take cover and, you know, shots followed them into the building. Owner Anthony Peroni says the six decades old family owned business is somewhere generations of people have gone for nights of fun. He says the shooting is a devastating violation. Without a doubt, this is the most painful day that we've ever had as a, as a family and a company. 21-year-old Cedric Durham Jr. was arrested in connection to the shooting, charged with felony possession of a firearm. Tampa police says its top priority is addressing the rise in violent crime in the city. Safety for our citizens is our number one concern. That's why we come to work every day. Tampa police says the two groups involved knew each other, but it's unclear what started the confrontation. Police are still investigating and say more arrests are expected. Any witnesses or anybody in the community that may know any information or any other details of this crime is asked to come forward. Meanwhile, Pin Chaser's Midtown location will be closing early until further notice and is asking Tampa PD for added surveillance, working to restore a sense of security. We feel very, very secure that we're going to have a uh, safe environment for everybody to bowl in and we won't rest until we do. Now, thinking of those bullets that flew through this business's door, Peroni says he's grateful that the outcome wasn't worse. Again, three people were injured in the shooting. One was the person that police arrested. Another is a person of interest. The third, though, an innocent bystander. All of those injuries are non-life-threatening.